I've chosen to look at Alpha Delta Pi sorority located here on Sacred Heart University campus for the groups project. Alpha Delta Pi is a member of the National Panhellenic Council. They have chapters located throughout the United States and Canada, with one being located here at Sacred Heart University. There are currently 123 members of Alpha Delta Pi here at Sacred Heart University. In order for a woman to become a member of Alpha Delta Pi, they must first go through the process of formal recruitment, which is sponsored by Greek Life here at Sacred Heart and held every fall. Once they have completed formal recruitment, they will receive a bid from the desired sorority, and if they choose to accept a bid from Alpha Delta Pi, they will begin the process of new member education and initiation. The Theta Rho chapter of Alpha Delta Pi at Sacred Heart University meets on a weekly basis from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday nights. These meetings take place in the Shine Auditorium located on main campus in Fairfield, Connecticut. Anyone who is an active member of the sorority, which means they've been initiated and are currently an undergrad student, must attend the meeting each week to discuss the details of what activities and events will be occurring for members to participate in, as well as discuss and vote on any impending decisions. Along with the weekly meetings, members attend events of other fraternities, sororities, and campus organizations to show their support of different philanthropies. Alpha Delta Pi's National Sorority partners with the Ronald McDonald's House Charity as its national philanthropy. Alpha Delta Pi raises money for the families that are currently staying at the Ronald McDonald House, as well as volunteers their time and support to the members of Ronald McDonald House. Theta Row at Sacred Heart holds two events throughout the year to support the Ronald McDonald House Charities. During the fall semester, Diamonds in the Dirt, which is a kickball tournament, raises profits for Ronald McDonald House with each team registering and all proceeds going to Ronald McDonald House. During the spring semester, they recently began Alpha Delta Pizza, where members register a team to decorate a pizza and proceeds benefit the Ronald McDonald House as well. Along with the weekly chapter meetings, the members of the executive committee meet on a weekly basis on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m., located on main campus. There are currently eight members on the executive committee, which is made up of the president, the vice president, vice president of membership education, finance vice president, recruitment vice president, director of social enrichment, director of standards and ethics, and Panhellenic delegate. These members work together to make the executive decisions of the chapter, as well as to continue to talk about future decisions of the chapter. Ultimately, they are considered to be the eight leaders of the chapter, but work with the remainder of the chapter in order to create a positive environment and events for sisters to participate in on a weekly basis. There are various amounts of roles that exist within Alpha Delta Pi sorority. When a member joins the sorority, they are given the role of being a new member or an alpha and learning about the sorority through various information sessions. Following initiation, a member becomes an active member or a delta. During this phase, they've learned all of the rituals that exist within the sorority and are able to fully participate in all activities that are being conducted by the sorority. When a person graduates, they become an inactive member or a pi. During this phase, they have the opportunity to continue to participate in the National Alpha Delta Pi sorority through becoming an advisor, joining an alumni association, or serving the national headquarters as a volunteer. Within a specific chapter of Alpha Delta Pi, there are certain roles that must be met as well. Within the Theta Rho chapter, there are eight members on the executive committee, as previously stated. Each member of the committee has a specific role and duty that they must perform in order to help benefit the chapter. Under each member of the executive committee, there are officers that assist with various aspects of their job. These officers as well all have certain duties to perform as well. Along with the executive committee and officers, there are various committees created throughout the year to support any activities that might be occurring during that time, such as Greek Week. As stated in Cole, the roles of group roles and group building and maintenance roles help to support the work and efforts of a group. This is evident in the chapter here at Sacred Heart because the chapter works together as a team in order to help promote the productiveness of the chapter. Rituals are an important part of Alpha Delta Pi sorority. 
Rituals are a way for members of every chapter to unite in order to share symbolic activity, which is what a ritual is, as stated by Cole. Rituals are conducted by all Alpha Delta Pis throughout the country and are often kept private to members only. Most of these rituals are completed during the weekly chapter meeting. However, some rituals do vary based on the organization of each chapter and the events that they hold. However, one of the most important rituals in Alpha Delta Pi is the event of initiation. During this time, a member goes from becoming an Alpha member to becoming a Delta member, where they have access to the full rights and benefits of becoming a member of the sorority. There is a specific ceremony that is completed and led by the executive board of the sorority, which is often followed by a small gathering to celebrate these new members becoming a Delta. Here at Sacred Heart, the event after includes gifts for the new members, as well as dinner and movies to celebrate their time together. One of the symbolic rituals during initiation is the wearing of all white by members without their hair being done, wearing any makeup, or wearing any nail polish. White is worn in order to promote purity of the founders of Alpha Delta Pi in 1851. There are rituals needed to enter the chapter meeting each week there are specific rituals completed during the chapter meeting and then specific rituals leaving the chapter meeting each week. Another ritual ceremony is the pie ceremony when a senior is graduating. At this time, the chapter is completing a ritual in order to celebrate all of these members and what they have done for their chapter and to thank you them for their help and support over their years of membership. During this time, they are also put in contact with the Alumni Association to be able to continue their membership in a different way. There are different types of leadership roles as discussed by Cole. This type of leadership style that is used by Alpha Delta Pi here at Sacred Heart is a facilitative group leadership style. The President and the Executive Committee serve as the leaders of the chapter as well as the Advisory Committee, but they make their decisions based on the best interests of the chapter. Members are often included in on decision making through weekly voting at chapter meetings of decisions, which include bylaws of chapters, member payments, and the type of events for the future. Many times, the executive committee has narrowed down the decisions to eliminate the options that may be harmful for the group, but will still allow all members to participate in large decision making. Many times, they allow the members to be independent in their thinking and are not dominating in how the chapter should be run. It is important to emphasize this type of leadership style to avoid chapter members feeling that the executive committee is dominating and controlling the chapter based on their interest only. Along with this, there is a free forum during the chapter meeting which allows members to discuss what they feel is important. As stated by Cole, cohesiveness is when members are not competing against each other, but rather working together. Theta Rho would be considered a cohesive environment because it promotes a positive group environment. It allows its members to truly be themselves and express themselves in ways that best reflect their personality. The sorority is not a competition for who can be the most successful or who has the opportunity to achieve the most, but rather the support the achievements of each member. Support of members include their position and role within the sorority, but also their achievements in the activities outside of the chapter. Cohesiveness can be reached at a fairly early point in the sorority because members are involved in many different activities, which are often attended by other members to show their support. Along with this, sisterhood events have been used to support members in being able to express themselves. Some of these have included the sharing of one's darkest point in a member's life, which was supported by all other sisters and continued support is offered when a member is facing a difficult time. Cole states that each group is going to have a different set of group norms based on how the group functions and its purpose. Group norms are demonstrated by the executive committee. Since the chartering of Theta Rho at Sacred Heart, there has been consistent group norms for the past three years about the behaviors that are considered acceptable for the members of the sorority. Grand rules have been set by the national headquarters of Alpha Delta Pi, which are implemented and followed by each specific chapter. However, each chapter functions differently and has a different group norms that then exist. For Alpha Delta Pi at Sacred Heart, some of the norms that have been set are the times of the meetings, 
the expectations of members to attend weekly meetings and events, and behaviors that are considered to be appropriate to uphold the standard of Alpha Delta Pi. One of the major group norms of Alpha Delta Pi is confidentiality of the organization's rituals and information discussed. Many times, items that are discussed and shared during the weekly chapter meeting are confidential to the members within the room. Members are expected to uphold this confidentiality agreement that they've agreed upon their entry into Alpha Delta Pi. Culture is determined by the members of the organization or group, as Colt states. And this is true of Alpha Delta Pi. The culture is constantly changing with the graduating class in the spring and the entry of new members during the fall. Each member is going to bring different information to the chapter and what they contribute, which changes the culture of the chapter. The norms and roles that exist within the group help to establish the culture of the group. Since the culture of the chapter often becomes similar each year, it may be difficult to change this culture. However, with new leadership roles being taken by different members, culture does slightly vary each year based on their ideas as well as the goals that wish to be accomplished and the opinions of other group members. Many times there's a negative connotation associated with sororities based on stories that have been circulating throughout the news on the negative issues. However, Alpha Delta Pi is looking to be different than the sorority culture and promote positive events within the community. Some of these events include anti-hazing events and volunteer work in the community at Ronald McDonald House Charities in New Haven. Yom discusses his stages of group development, which explains where the group has developed together. The three stages are orientation, conflict, and then the last two have been combined to form cohesive maturity. Theta Rho would be at the group development phase of cohesive maturity. In this group, there's a large emphasis on the entire chapter working together to be the most successful group as possible. During this time, each member will take on different roles in order to build the maturity of the group as well as work as a team to help other members work on various tasks. There is no need for the power struggle to exist at this point because each member understands that they have the ability to contribute to the group. Along with this, members have the ability to self-disclose information to the group without judgment of others. During this time, there is an open forum both during chapters and other meetings where members have the opportunity to attend and express any concerns that they have at the time. Each member of Alpha Delta Pi has a different reason for why the sorority is meaningful to them. One member stated that when they joined Alpha Delta Pi, they found a home away from home and the opportunity to build leadership experience. Through this, they've made countless friendships and sisterhoods that they know will last a lifetime. Another sister stated that during the formal recruitment process, she connected with the Ronald McDonald House charity as our philanthropy based on personal experience. She's found great opportunities and satisfaction in the opportunity to give back to the Ronald McDonald House. From personal experience through this chapter, I've found the opportunity to grow as a leader and a person and make friendships that I know will last a lifetime and be continued to inspire by the women of this sorority today. The Theta Rho chapter of Alpha Delta Pi meets the criteria to be a group but it differs in aspects from many of the other Alpha Delta Pi organizations. The culture, group norms, roles, rituals, and leadership style are all specific to this one chapter. Each member has something different to contribute to the chapter as a whole, which it makes it unique, alone, and continues for group development to occur on a yearly basis. Alpha Delta Pi has continued to promote volunteer, educational achievements, and leadership promotion throughout the community in its time as an organization and will continue to promote this in the future, which is why it has been so successful.